Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. I know my Hyperlun look exactly the same as it did before, minus some changes in the dock, but here's the thing. It's been, I, I, re, I reinstalled uh, Cache OS. Uh, I bypassed the issues that I had with having two graphics cards by using Vert Manager on Nabora and passing through an NVMe. In doing so, I installed the Hyperland version of Cache OS and went from there. Uh, it's a weird one because, again, the N4 script really isn't designed for that. They expect you to already be on, like, GNOME or KDE or something. So there were some issues that I had to overcome. Some packages that I had to find manually. But the cool part is I rebuilt everything from the ground up and managed to do it without anything breaking which is impressive considering how messy i am with certain things so this video is just to detail that i guess but people ask how i do what i do well you guys get your own fancy little change log look at that right there and if uh, we just zoom in i believe we can just like go like this so this is built off of the enforce hyperlint obviously file locations that were modified are all listed right here okay the initial doc setup is here so originally it comes like this false so it's off the layer is top and it's pinned with firefox and gnome nautilus we enabled true we put to bottom and, um, well, that's not everything. We also made it exclusive. It doesn't mention the exclusiveness, though, so I'll have to add that. But what we did is we changed its layers. So instead of it being just a floating window, I made it exclusive. And I removed the, uh, the, 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 the pinned app that you can pin the dock or unpin it, you know, to keep it from auto-hiding. We also unchecked auto-hide. As you can see there, we changed some stuff. So um, basically we removed a couple of separators, one that was in the beginning, one that was right next to the launcher, and one that was right on the end because there's no need to have multiple different separators. And modified to the CSS, so more rounding, padding, things like that. Uh changed the dock size to 32 from 40 dock separators you know there's just it just basically goes over everything that i did yeah there's a launcher button so we changed the launcher icon to the arch png which is now available in the ags logo folder i figured that would be a better place to have it and uh yeah Pin button and separators, pin button removal. So it mentions that right here, actually, which is cool. And uh, corner rounder removal. So what we did up here, I removed the rounded corners and the fake screen rounding. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. So I made it so the full name will always show right here, which is nice. So max width characters constraint was removed. And yeah, uh, pinned apps button, you know, I, I removed a lot of stuff and did a lot of stuff. It's just, it's hard for me to like go over this in a video and pretend I know what I'm talking about because most of the time it doesn't stick in my head what I did. I just want to get it to the point and then I just want to like have a backup of it and I have that now. So yeah, so you can edit the files above or you can use my AGS folder and then you just control super control R to rebind or to restart AGS. Oh, it was just a lot of work to get from there to here, but it got summed up in a tiny change log, I guess. So that's something. Can we just like go back to normal size? There we go. Yeah, but here where is it i believe it's config user options lines uh basically this is where you add your pinned apps so if i actually go and show you that 
because I know a lot of people were asking. I know this is probably not the video we were hoping for. Uh, we go in here. We open this up with the gedit. You can see that this is all the apps that I have currently pinned. And yeah, there's there's some stuff in here. What the hell is Wafu? What? Stop. Go away. No. Stupid sidebar. But yeah, fake screen rounding is set to zero. Bar rounding corners is set to zero. Color screen is set to true. Jennifer from wallpaper. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the hell any of that means, but it's there. So if you want to set to auto hide, uh, I don't know what you put in this box, but there you go. You can do that. And um, as for the dock changes, I think the rest take place in here or in here. No. Ugh. Installing this application, it just crashes too much. Right there. This is the other one that I ended up making. So, one second. There we go. So layer, user options, dot dock layer, anchor, bottom, exclusive, visible, true. Ta-da! Found it. Isn't that cool? Eel. There we go. We got that working. I wanted to show you that as well. So now that you guys have an actual change log of everything that I did, it should make it a lot easier for you guys to reproduce what I did, you know, if that makes any sense. Look, it's Cider 3. Anyway, um, with that, I thank you guys for watching. You know, I figured this is maybe worth an update. And uh, I recorded this whole thing with the new microphone, so hopefully it sounds really good. And it doesn't sound like overpowering or over loud. And the cool part is, watch this. Ta-da! We can now open this up and have everything technically working and running, which is nice. I don't have the NVIDIA driver currently installed. We're recording this with the AMD driver. But if I wanted to, I could totally do that. In fact, I might do that in a video right now, a guide on how to pull this off. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check the description to see how you guys can support me if you feel the need. There's a Ko-Fi to be able to donate directly. Um, and there's also the members on YouTube. Simple button. It's next to subscribe, I believe, or somewhere on the page. I've never actually looked. But uh, just subscribing is enough. And I'll see you guys next time.